who would have knew so much could happen while just moving into a place? I was struggling. I cut my hand up and got locked out. And I lost my voice on top of it, y'all. This is one chaotic moving vlog. Did you really think I was about to fake wake up on camera? Mm -mm. Let's get this day started. It's a freaking moving day! It's a moving day, Pipes! Are you happy to give me a pipes? Are you happy too? No! It's a moving right. day, y'all! I'm so happy! It's time to go! Ah. Andre, I'm gonna go to Six Flags. Walk down this way. In my room. There's my room. We got the walk in closet. And then the bathroom. I'm gonna give y'all a whole good mother freaking morning. It is move in day, and I'm really, really, really excited. I know it's been a long time since I've talked to y'all, and a lot has changed, but we're not gonna discuss that right now because if I apologize for every time that I've been gone from YouTube, y'all are gonna get an apology every video. So we're not even gonna start that. But anyways, y'all just watched clips of me getting my keys and just looking at the apartment because I didn't really fully move in. I was just too anxious and I really wanted to see how the place looked. But obviously, I'm in this big U-Haul and I have all of my stuff and we're gonna be moving in today, which I'm so, 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 so excited because Y'all don't even know. We really do have a lot of stuff today and it's gonna be a lot harder than it usually is for other people that are moving into the college lifestyle because I'm doing it all by myself, okay? I'm moving in by myself. But my parents were an independent woman so I believe that I can handle it. I did have my mom help me put everything on the truck so I'm not worried about anything as far as that but unloading it, it's gonna be a lot. Ooh wee. Boy, does it feel good to be back. Oh my goodness, y'all. And let me take a pause for the cause real quick because I know I can obviously tell that my voice does not sound normal and I'm not looking like I was in the first few clips. Bro, I lost my freaking voice. It's story time real quick. That day that I decided to move everything in. OMG, it's moving day, it's moving day, it's moving day. <laughs> See, I'm still out of breath now. I can barely even talk. Tell me why that same night, I started getting like the chills or something, but I was like, nah, it's just because I was running in the cold. Yeah, girl, you were running in the cold, bro. I woke up the next morning and I started sounding like I was a little sick and I was like, no freaking way, no way. But I was over here like, hey, not worried about it because I was bragging, I've never lost my voice. I've never lost my voice before. That was day one. The next day, I lost my voice. Like completely lost my voice. So I couldn't even fully move in. So I pretty much prolonged everything so I could get my voice back. And now we're here. Now we're back here. Am I doing the most for prolonging everything? Yes, I am doing the absolute most, but it's okay. We're gonna get this started and I'm finally gonna have a cute room that I can stay in and be relaxed in and actually feel like I'm at home. The first thing that I wanna do is clean off everything the freaking room is clean we have a one lighting y'all i'm literally about to die from all this light so that i spread in my room because it's very 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 strong i kid you not i was over here dying before i turned on the camera okay <coughs> currently still dying but that's not the point here i'm about to bring the rest of my stuff oh well, i'm saying the rest of my stuff like there's anything in here i'm about to bring my stuff in here and just get a feel of everything that's gonna be in here so i know how tight and small the room really is y'all i've never had a room this tiny i'm really going to use the organization skills that god gave me and make all of this work because i tried to bring the least amount of things that i could but it just did not work y'all so i still have a lot of stuff but i think if i organize well i'll be able to make it all work Keep this. Bro. 
Boy, I almost lost my face. Y'all, yeah, really, it's not even that much stuff. I have all this over here, and then I have all of this right over here. I really don't think that I did a bad job at packing stuff, but hey, somebody that's actually lived this lifestyle could tell you otherwise. I definitely do think my TV is way too big to be in a freaking uh, college apartment, but hey. <laughs> I couldn't downsize that one. That's something I was just not gonna give up. Okay, so I'm gonna do my closet and my bathroom last just because I don't really feel the need to do that right now because the doors are obviously closed. I just wanna get my actual room situated and I definitely wanna start with my desk area first. I took their freaking college chair and put it out in the living room because I didn't want that ugly chair. I really wanted to just bring my cute leopard print chair. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I have. All of this stuff right over here y'all y'all definitely need to make sure y'all take advantage of those laundry baskets if you're not putting clothes in them put other stuff in here that you can bring with you the Sun definitely is hitting first thing my calendar I usually put this like in the middle of my desk just like that oh, I'm gee it's freaking messed up oh well my favorite lamp ever I got this like a few years back and it's literally been my favorite desk lamp. I think I'm gonna put it on this side because I'm probably gonna leave this container over here because I feel like it's very convenient. Just like that. And I have this little B coaster because I just think it's so cute. This. I should have gave y'all a freaking haul. Well, I don't really think it's a haul because it's literally stuff that I already had before. I didn't buy anything new to move in here because if you don't know, I did previously live on my own before this. So this is kind of like a downgrade. In a way, you could say it's a downgrade upgrade but at this point in my life i'm looking at it like it's an upgrade so i'm not too mad um there's just a whole bunch of other stuff that doesn't really belong in my desk area except for this is the only candle that's not by my other candles because it belongs in my office area Okay, so y'all, this is how I have my desk area so far. I'm not sure how I like it. I definitely like it just as far as like it's giving more character in my room than it had. I mean, anything is gonna give more character. Obviously, I'm not using my head. I'm not really sure what's throwing me off about it. I think it might be the cactus right over there, but the cactus needs some sunlight. So I don't know if I want to put it over on the ledge that way or keep it over there. Cause I was thinking about putting it over there. Y'all, I think I have a slight case of OCD and I'm not even trying to be funny or trying to diagnose myself with that. Just to say that, but I really, it's bad. It gets really annoying, bro. It gets so bad. And if you knew me personally, then you would understand like that girl definitely has it. Like I was saying, this is probably not going to stay like this because I constantly have to move things around till I get like the perfect feel and right now I'm not getting the perfect feel from it so I might have to switch things around until I do that. I might do the whole bathroom area and closet tomorrow because the sun is going down and obviously I'm doing this by myself so it's hard. I always watch the move-in videos with people bringing their family and their mom and their dad and their whole family bringing in boxes and decorating and they have it all done in one day but that's just not how this video is gonna go so um y'all this video is already like not aesthetically pleasing because i got sick i had to move on a different day but it's okay i'm gonna still make the best of it because this is my special move-in day and if you've made it this far and you're still not subscribed yet what are you doing please what are you doing i'll wait it only takes two seconds so if you're not subscribed by now you're just a hater and i'm gonna just leave it at that Good uh, mother freaking morning! It's definitely not morning, but I just always feel the need to say good morning when I turn on the camera. It's definitely like 3 o'clock p.m. And um, y'all, I've really been overwhelmed. Yesterday, I wasn't going to be doing all of this stuff in one day because it's just me. It's just me. And I know I'm a strong, independent woman, but hey. There's only so much I can do. I did do a few things off camera last night just because I already prolonged the situation way longer than I needed to. So I did some of that. The bathroom is looking, uh, y'all, look at this. This 
is still looking very bad. There's stuff in my bed now, all of this. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. I did put all of my bathroom stuff in the bathroom. Obviously, I still need to clean it. I should have went ahead and cleaned it last night. So then we could have just decorated it today. So what I'm gonna do is clean up the bathroom and then actually start putting all of my stuff on the counter and doing my shower curtain and actually putting some freaking decor in here so it can look better than it is. Another thing that I did last night was put this little thing up over my bed. What I did was just put a sheet and boom. I got all my storage over there. Then there's Piper. Hey, Pipes. Hello, Piper. Hello, Pips. So mainly the, excuse me, um, excuse me, out of my mouth. Can you get down? The main reason I put that up there is because I want her to have a like cave-like feel when she goes underneath the bed. And also, since I'm going to be using a lot of that space for storage, I wanted to not have it so visible. I have my dresser little things that are hiding part of it, but it doesn't hide all of it. So I thought that was very cute as well. It's already like 3 p.m. in the day, and obviously I haven't done much except for overwhelm myself thinking about how much stuff I have. So let me just start doing this whole bathroom area and uh well go from there okay i just bought a new shower liner i'm still gonna use this and then you know so we're gonna go from there So this is how the bathroom is looking so far. Right now, I have some of my jewelry put up here. I need to put the rest of my jewelry up here. I put a wall flowering, it's so cute. Then I have a toothbrush holder, hand soap dispenser. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that right there because honestly, it kind of looks too crowded to me, but at the same time, I kind of want all my jewelry in the same area. If not, I'll just put that on my desk. Then I have this up here. I am gonna add all that stuff up there, but I'm thinking about getting an over the toilet shelf. Something like I had at my last apartment. It kind of helped with like a lot of storage. If I didn't want to keep stuff in a closet or underneath the sink, I could keep it right there so it's easy access. So it's easily, what is the word? Easily accessible. Yeah, so it's easily accessible, y'all. I'm not even gonna cut that out. But then, also, like I showed y'all earlier, I have my shower curtain up, and then I put some more products in there. Need to go through more of the stuff that's out in the room to see if I need to bring anything else into the bathroom, but I think I'm gonna just start putting the jewelry in there, and then just small stuff. I have these two things that I had at my last place. Those two and this picture that I wanna hang up in the bathroom, those two might go somewhere along this way and then this right here I want to put in this area right here I'm just gonna go ahead and hang those up charge my battery while I'm doing that and then I'll come back to y'all look at me being handy mother freaking Mandy Bella so when I'm thinking I put this it's not really centered right there like on this whole entire wall because right over in that area I want to put some acrylic shelves like I had in my last place and put all of my perfume up there. I'm about to come in here and put a hook right outside, like right by my door, cause I wanna put my keys right here and Piper's leash. Also, y'all, I don't know what this is on my freaking door, but I know that every bedroom is not like this. This is like some, I don't know, it looks like some asylum stuff. Like they put me in a crazy house. Not even trying to be funny, but it's what it looks like. I'm gonna see what I can do about that. Cause that is something that I did talk to the maintenance people about as well. And they told me to just, take it off i believe i don't know if it's gonna leave any paint marks but if it does leave any like chips or anything i'm just gonna have to call them back and tell them to come paint over it <sighs> this is how my room is looking so far y'all this moving process is <sighs>
It's a lot harder than it looks online. I know, like I said, y'all be having a whole army behind y'all, but hey. I'm an independent woman, I can do this. I definitely like the way my bathroom looks so far. I just have all of that stuff right there because that's just the rest of the bathroom stuff. But as of now, I want to work on my bedroom, clean off my bed, do something because this, the bathroom's cool, but we're not sleeping in there tonight. And obviously it's getting, it's not too late, but it is getting that time where I need to start wrapping things up. Like about like right here since I am on the taller side. I hope this is freaking clear. I feel like it blurs out every time I get, unless that's my vision. Please tell me it's actually blurry or I'm gonna be highly upset. Cause every time I get closer, it gets clear. Am I tripping? This is how the hook is. So obviously it has two holes. I have two screws and two nails and I'm thinking I wanna just use the nails instead of the screws. I think I wanna use that instead, but this one is hella long. And then the screw is just very tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna use the hammer. Golly, it don't seem like this is going through. I might have hit a beam or something. That definitely looks tacky how there's a nail on the top and then a screw at the bottom. But hey, that just shows the indecisiveness. That's it, that's it. Nobody should judge me for that either. But I do wanna put y'all on game real quick. If you stay in 1113-1113 apartment on the first floor, you're gonna get set up because this is the biggest, biggest apartment in the whole entire unit. Like all the rooms are bigger compared to all the other. This is a five bedroom, but this is the biggest five bedroom. All the five bedrooms aren't like as big, like cause we have high ceilings and all that stuff. It's just way more better, I promise y'all. We really lucked out when we got the sublease here. Two of the freaking rooms, no, three of the rooms have walk-in closets and two of them don't. If you get lucky to get a walk-in closet, then you do. If you don't, then you don't. But now that I'm out, I can finally tell y'all, just in case y'all want some information. One thing I love about this apartment is the fact that it's literally right across from the exit. Rooms big. Laundry room. Got the whole shebang. Yes, ma'am. We have bedroom E right there, bedroom D, bedroom C, and then don't mind all my stuff right there. There's A right there and B right there. This is how my room looks obviously y'all have seen that all before i got the walk-in closet it's actually walk-in y'all let me show y'all yes you can walk up in it and then b i can't show y'all b because i locked it on accident and then e if you get lucky enough to get in this room y'all on the first floor room big as hell y'all and yes, another walk-in closet. Somebody's already moving into it, so don't mind that. And there's bedroom D. It's one of the smaller ones. No walk-in closet. Then bedroom C. I would have loved this room if it had a walk-in closet. Because it has windows on both sides, so it's hella light in here. No walk-in closet, though. But you can't tell me it's not hella cute in here, y'all. Like, it is so cute i love this room like the lighting would it eat but anyways let's go back into my room when you come out you have the spacious living room y'all we have high ceilings so this place it it's really big like seriously a lot of people come in here and they're like bro you have a big place you have that unfortunately five people cannot fit food in there but it's cool all this space and then back down in here my room sure did get some good lighting. The main reason that I like my room is the fact that I literally have this whole hallway. Like my girl TK and I shared the hallway and we decorated it cute and all that. So it's like we are away from everybody else in the house. That was definitely a plus because it's like we're in our own space, but. <laughs> Congratulations on signing your lease for your new home. 